it was supposed to remain a disgrace because it was a mess. You didn't know how something came out in some in certain way that you were like you didn't plan for it, you didn't anticipate for that, you didn't, you didn't expect something to appear a certain way that made you to be so worried, to be like doubting yourself, to like you like you you were thinking what really went wrong along the line that spoiled something, something got spoiled. And we wonder what went wrong along the line. That's that spoiled something like that. You didn't see some you didn't see obstacles coming towards something. You didn't see it. And everyone began to complain about it. I'm blaming you. And say that perhaps you're the one that spoiled it, you're the one that delayed everything, you're the one that made things to go bad. You took blame for what you didn't even know anything about. They blamed you for what you didn't even know anything about, beloved. And because people are so quick to judge, they had to judge you based on what happened. And some of you have been trying to fix to fix something that went bad. And some of you, while we still think about what went bad, suddenly everything just changed for the better. Something just changed for the better. Something has changed for the... It was supposed to be, remain a mess. It was supposed to bring plenty of shame and disgrace. It was supposed to... People were supposed to be talking a lot on negativity. You know, saying all manner of negative things about something. And before you realized it, it was totally fixed. It was... Things changed. Something changed in a situation. And all those who were speaking evil about those things are now like so surprised. They, they are, they are, now they, they, are, they are just, they are dormant. Like, they can't talk right now. They don't know where to hide their faces. Something went bad and people suddenly, people quickly judged it. People quickly, you know, gave negative words about it. And things just turned around. Things turned around. And they're like surprised. They're they, 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 they wondering how you did it. How did you how did you fix the mess? They're like, how did you fix the mess? How come some the, your, your haters are like, how come things didn't just stay the way it was? So they will continue to laugh at you. And to those and to those pretentious ones who were laughing uh uh behind your back and, and, and and crying with you in your face and now like in their hearts they are conflicted they are so ashamed within themselves something was supposed to be a total disgrace but God quickly flipped things around instead of disgrace he gave you double honor instead of shame God crowned somebody Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. Perhaps something lost, something got spoiled. God is giving you back, not just that, but in double portion. God is giving you in double fold what, what, what spoiled, what was discarded, what was destroyed, what was condemned, what was messed up. God is giving you back clean, not just clean, but in double portion. Hallelujah. And instead of this grace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. Instead of this grace, oh my God, it's like they, were, they wanted to do a public spectacle of you or of what happened. God brought back honor into your life. God brought back your inheritance in your life. God built you up again. God washed you again. God put smiles on your face again. God put smiles on your face again. And now you are confident in building yourself once again. Hallelujah. Yes, you are inheriting double portion. You are inheriting double portion. What they destroyed came back to you in double, double fold. Hallelujah. Yes, your land has been expanded. Your cost has been expanded. Everything that went away. Listen, what the enemy meant for evil. God turned this around for your good. Listen, what happened actually gave you some recognition. <laughs> what, what happens, beloved, brought you to the lamplight. And in a negative form, 
something evil happens to your life that that people got to know you through that thing. But right now, the man I wish it has changed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All those tongues that were uh, you know, we're, we're, we're speaking evil about you and now beginning, you know, people, people are beginning to change their words when it comes to you. People are beginning to change their conversation when it comes to you. Because things didn't remain the way they, were, the way they saw. God's miracle took place and some things changed more in your favor. Some of you were being rejected, but that rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. Some of you, some of you, they like, they despise you. But now you are, you have become the most loved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They thought nothing could ever come again from a situation that was dead and buried. But God resurrected dry bones. God resurrected dry bones. Dry bones have been revived again in someone's life. Dry bones have been revived again in someone's lives. What someone lost, they got back even in double fold. Hallelujah. How was the mess fixed? That's what you're asking. How was the mess fixed? And only God has the answer. Hallelujah. You are reflecting God. Keep reflecting God. Hallelujah. Keep reflecting God. If this have gone wrong in your life, God is saying to you this moment, my son, my, 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 my daughter, this word is for you. Things that went wrong in your life are about to, to go right. Things that went wrong in your life are about to go right. What you lost, you're about to recover. Hallelujah. God is fixing your mess. The problem that they have known you for. God's about to change that problem. And they're going to know you for something great. In the name of Jesus. Rejoice. 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 For weeping has already endured. And joy is here for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle and our strength. See you in the next video.